Welcome to Comic Book Reader Guide. Today we're going to take an extended look at Comic Cat on the Kindle Fire HD. And the first thing we need to do is go ahead and um, connect our Kindle Fire HD to computer. I'm going to make a comics folder and I'm going to go ahead and copy over some CBZ files um, or you could use CBR files and that way they're going to get loaded onto the device. I'm on the Mac so I use a simple utility that's available for free to, to copy this over. Just go ahead and uh, check out the blog post for links. And now let's go ahead and open up the app up on uh, Kindle Fire. Um, start by just showing you I've got some comics. Um, I don't have the app installed but you can see that it's recommended because it knows I like comics. And so let's go straight to the store and do this from the very beginning. So you can take a look at the reviews and ratings on Comic Cat. Um, latest screenshots. And I'm going to go ahead and hit download. I've already purchased this app, so it's not asking me for my purchase information or to my credentials, but um, that's the only step that's missing from this. Installing the app, and now it's available. So let's go ahead and uh, open the app. first thing it's going to ask is to build my catalog now. I don't need to specify a particular folder even though I copied it into a particular one, but it's going to scan my device and here it is detecting those comics and a few others that I had uh, loaded on the device. This is not sped up, this is real time. Let's give you a sense of um, how fast the device works and, and what to expect in your own experiences. It gives me an update of um, how many files are found and I can go ahead and verify that. Um, catalog view. This allows me to switch uh, from uh, the thumbnails that you see to a list of the comics that are available. I can go back to catalog view and then also select a gallery. These are just all the same content, just different ways to display based on your preference. Stats, this will give you information on your comic sizes, how many pages, how much you've read. Um, we haven't started, so nothing to report. And if I wanted to resync the catalog, I can do that right there. For instance, if I loaded a new comic since last time. I prefer the uh, thumbnail view and catalog. That's what I'm used to, the bookshelf here. So I'm going to do that. And let's go ahead and dive right into the settings. Um, we're going to go through each settings one by one. So in the general settings, um, where you want to start the application in, uh, either in the catalog or your last comic, um, open comics from where in the last page or bookmark. And if you decide you want to password protect, you can go ahead and do that from here. Next is the viewer settings. And, and quite a number of options here. So the orientation you can sense, or you can lock it to either a portrait or a landscape. View, you may be toggling with this a bit, depending upon how you like to read comics. And then um, some options here for fit width on rotation, cropping, splitting two page scans, left to right reading, or right to left. And um, limit touch zone. Um, not something I particularly play around with too much. Um, brightness, if you want to manage the brightness of your device, you can do it from right here within the app. Next are the uh, catalog settings, um, which extensions to include, um, you know, fixing some extensions, uh, how you want to sort your catalog, um, theme, there's some other themes that are available besides the wooden shelf. And uh, clearing your bookmarks on finish. Performance, these are more related to the performance of the device itself. If you want to cap the uh, image size, you can go ahead and do that here. Um, transitions, if you want to minimize the transitions or um, improve the performance of some of the caching uh, that goes on on the device. Private folders, you can set this up. Um, just enable it here. If you want to have um, folders that you would need to have a code to unlock. 
Facebook integration. So this is the the next bit of settings. Um, let's go ahead and open it up here. So by connecting and authorizing uh, Comic Cat to work with your Facebook account, you can go ahead and um, post to Facebook. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just log on to my account here to show you um, how this would work. gloss over the password stuff and simply log in and uh, you're doing this through the browser so you don't have to remember the password here but um, here's some options so you can have these things happen automatically post an update when you start or finish a comic go ahead and check those options on or you can just go ahead and save those preferences this will now allow you to um, you know, from within inside a comic, we'll see later that you can comment on a comment, uh, comment on a comic, on Facebook. Dropbox. This is another way to get comics on your device. So first, you'll need to authorize Comic App. So it's going to pull up a dialog um, where Dropbox is going to ask for access to your device, and you're going to simply say allow. And then here are some directions. Um, basically, you need to create a folder called Comic Cat in your apps folder on your Dropbox. And whatever folder, every comics you put inside that folder will be synced to your device. And uh, I previously set up a Dropbox. So, um, and I have some comics that are already in a folder um, per those directions. And you can see if I pull down from the notifications here that there's some comics and you see the Dropbox syncs notification that um, sync is that uh, comics are downloading. You don't want to quit Comic Cat while this is going on. You don't want to turn your device off. Uh, it'll get interrupted and you won't be able to have your comics sync up. You don't have to start the process over again. If you've missed any of these settings, you can go ahead and pull up the settings guide. It gives you a good overview of all these different features and what you can do um, uh, on Comic Cat. So it's been a couple of minutes, and um, you can see that I've got some new comics added. So these are the comics um, that have been added from the Dropbox sync. So a few more to choose from. And without further ado, let's get into reading one. So uh, just opening a comic and simple swiping. You can go ahead and just read. Um, you know, pretty get up and go functionality. If I want options um, like navigating to the page, I can pull up this menu and just go ahead and um, jump to a particular page. I'm just holding down for a split moment and then uh, the menu becomes accessible on the device. Let's go ahead and uh, pull up some uh, options here that are available. Let's go for settings. The um, number of settings will go for picking a different view mode so let's go ahead and fit to height just to show what that looks like um, so where we were at um, you can see it can kind of sometimes depending upon the size of the scan cut off on the side and um, let's go ahead and um, hide that toolbar at the top so we're maximizing our device viewing and then um, go ahead and show it this way so now um, Still a little bit cut off, but I have the whole height um, available. So if that's not quite what you want, show it some other options available. Um, fitting to original size. Um, this is going to depend on the size of your scan. So you can see my scan's a little bit larger. So if I want to see all of that detail, um, it may be the preference for you. I'm going to go ahead and um, switch this back to um, fitting on the height. And then um, I'll go ahead and uh, fit on width. And this is what I tend up, tend up using. Um, get the full page, maximizing the screen real estate. 
I can go ahead and comment on this um, because I integrated with Facebook. I can go ahead and comment, like say, "Hey, check out this comic I'm reading." Um, another setting that you may be interested in is the image enhancer. Just click it on, and um, it does an auto adjust on um, on images um, to kind of help images that are scanned uh, be a little bit more polished, um, a little richer on your device. I tend not to have this on, but it's a, it's a nice option that's available. Um, some folks are really keen on being able to get every bit out of their pixels, and uh, and you can see it makes um, somewhat of a difference here on this comic. Um, you see it a little bit more in person as opposed to the video, but it's there for your, your um, option. So let's take a look at landscape mode. Um, I get a lot of questions about viewing comics in landscape mode. Um, and People have every different preference in the world of you know, like how they want to view their comics. So let's go ahead and continue with our journey down applying some of these settings in, um, in landscape. And there's a few options here that are um, pretty attractive in Comic App. So um, I can, here's a feature I didn't quite cover yet before, but it's search is available. So if you want to narrow down, you've got quite a number of comics um, available um, for listing. You can go ahead and uh, do the search. You can also sort your catalog. Um, we saw this a little earlier. And um, you can change your catalog view here, just like you, we did before in uh, portrait orientation. So everything's here um, that was here in portrait orientation. Um, it's, it's all available in landscape as well. Back to the to my preference, and let's click off the search, so you can see I'm back to exactly what it is. Getting dig back into our comic, and this may be your preference. Um, this is the the fitting the width, and um, some people prefer to maximize the device, just scrolling down to get the full benefit of the page reading down the page as they would in print. Um, you can go ahead and still navigate to different pages. Um, all your options are available that we covered before. But um, you may not want to um, have uh, quite that uh, blown up experience. So we'll go ahead and um, um, click off that uh, fit width on rotation and uh, pick another view mode to, to do. Um, if we go fit height and then back to our comic. So here, um, full page um, is available in this orientation. It doesn't maximize the screen real estate of the device, but again, this may be your preference um, in viewing uh, in landscape mode. Just giving an overview of the different options that are available. Everything's here again. Image Enhancer, what does that look like um, here? So you'll see, um, clicked on the Image Enhancer. I know it's a bit of delay when using the Image Enhancer. I think uh, on the fly it's doing a bit of um, filtering. Um, so there's a little bit of a little bit of a stutter with that on. So that's another reason why I prefer to have the Image Enhancer off. We just wanted to go ahead and show um, back to this other orientation of fitting the width. So you can still swipe, still navigate. Um, and then this way uses your maximizes your screen real estate. And there you go. So there's our extended look at Comicat on the Kindle Fire HD. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. We're going to be doing more in-depth extended edition videos. And as always, check us out on comicbookreaderguide.com for more information, including videos, screenshots about your favorite comic book readers. Thanks.